The sentence mark. Please help me to like and subscribe to grow our channel. Man living illegally in U.S. gets 16 years for crash that killed Colts linebacker Edwin Jackson and Uber driver. A man from Guatemala living illegally in the U.S. was sentenced Friday to the maximum of 16 years in prison for a drunken driving crash that killed Indianapolis Colts linebacker Edwin Jackson and his Uber driver. Manuel Larego Savale, 37, pleaded guilty in July to two counts of operating a motor vehicle with a blood alcohol content of 0.15 or more, causing death. The sentence marked the maximum possible under his plea agreement. Investigators said Orego Savala had a blood alcohol content of 0.19 nearly two and a half times Indiana's legal limit when his F-150 truck crashed. Dinda Jackson and his Uber driver, Jeffrey Monroe, 54. On February 4th along Interstate 70 in Indianapolis. Monroe, of Avon, Indiana, had pulled over when the 26-year-old Jackson became ill. Both men were standing outside Monroe's car on the highway's shoulder when Orego Savala's truck crashed into them. Authorities said Orego Savala was walking away from the crash when a state trooper detained him. Under his plea agreement, prosecutors dropped two counts of failing to remain at the scene of an accident. A Marion County judge sentenced Orego Savala after hearing an emotional testimony from Monroe's widow, Deborah Monroe, and Jackson's mother. The widow told Orego Savala that the crash killed the greatest love of my life and destroyed their retirement plans that included travel and fulfilling her husband's dream of going to the great. Wall of China my family and I are serving a life sentence because of you, she said, speaking directly to Orego Savale, who kept his head lowered during much of Friday's hearing. You're a drunk, a liar, a murderer and a coward, Monroe said. Jackson grew up in Atlanta and started eight games for the Colts during the 2016 season, finishing third on the team with 61 tackles. Jackson was considered a possible starter at inside linebacker for 2017 but missed the season after suffering a training camp injury. His mother, Mary Ellen Powell Jackson, told the court she was preparing to leave Sunday services when she learned that he had died in a crash in a phone call. Our hearts have been ripped apart and we're always asking, why Edwin, she said, recalling him as a hard-working, handsome athlete, and a good, obedient and caring son who had a heart of gold. Orego Savala was deported in 2007 and 2009. Federal authorities said he illegally re-entered the U.S. and faces federal immigration charges that could potentially result in a 10-year sentence, said Jeremy Johnson.